Oh man, I can't believe we finally have the opportunity. Now that I finally trust you and that you're not going to leave me, I now have the opportunity to take you to a lovely mall. Say, have you ever been to a mall before? <laughs> Neither have I. But I heard this mall has a lot of places, and I know we can do some lots of fun things together. Such as, you know, getting something to eat, getting something to drink, maybe some lovely ice cream that we can share together. Or maybe I can take you for some shopping, you know, buy you some lovely outfits for you. You don't need those old, riggedy outfits, don't you? Nah, I don't think so. Hmm? That seems to be the problem. Oh? <laughs> you don't need your cell phone. I know that you're not going to get lost. You're not going to get lost in the mall because you're going to be sticking with me. So you don't have to worry about being lost and needing a cell phone. You don't need a cell phone. Besides, I wouldn't trust you with a cell phone. You'd probably call the cops on me. Or probably call your parents or even your friends or... You know... I honestly don't trust you at all. So, your cell phone is staying at my place, in my bedroom drawer. And if I ever think about grabbing it, I know for real, you won't have a great time. And that's okay. Because I highly doubt you would do anything. I know how terrified you are to me. Although, I don't want you to be terrified of me. I want you to be happy around me. I know I'm being a little horrible when I did kidnap you and take you to my place. It's because I like you. And now that I trust you so much, you don't have to be staying in that basement tied down to the chair. <laughs> you know, such as a couple, I think we should hold hands. Don't you think? So hold my hand. What? I said hold my hand. Oh. <laughs> my, oh my, oh my. Is someone like you disobeying me? I don't want to create so much attention from other people. You know, if there was nobody here, I would grab your hair and pull you down to your place. Or worse, I would hold a knife to your throat and make you hold my hand. Don't make me take you back to that basement. I didn't have to do that. You finally got upstairs. I know that if I keep you in that basement for a very long time, your sanity will slowly dwindle away. So. <gasps> Ooh, how about some ice cream? Would you like some ice cream? Maybe that's what you need. Maybe you need some ice cream. You're a little grumpy. Although I do not deal with a bunch of grumpy people like you. If you ever have a big attitude on me, you know there's going to be a problem. Because you know you don't want to disobey me. Correct? <laughs> That's a good, good little sugar pea. <laughs> so, let's go up to this ice cream stand, shall we? I think we should share the same ice cream together. That's what lovely couples do, right? Oh, I can even imagine it already, how you have a bit of ice cream on your cheek, and I just would love to lick it right off. <laughs> I know I have a lot of fantasies, I get it. Oh, just thinking about you gives me so many fantasies and imaginatives. It makes me so happy. How about this? You stay put, do not leave. If I see you leave, I'll have to hunt you down. I don't want to do that in a public place like this mall. So you just stay put, little puppy. Uh, yes. I would love... I would love, um... Two scoops of ice cream. Uh, flavor... Let's try... How about chocolate and... Strawberry? How about some gummy bears? 
Gummy Bears, Reese's on the top, and some sprinkles. Um, cup, please. I don't want to make a mess. I don't trust the cone. <laughs> you know, it just causes a big old mess. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. All right, I'm back. Oh, good little puppy. You're finally obeying. I guess you can obey and you can listen. I was expecting you to run off. Oh. <laughs> I know your favorites. You love strawberry and chocolate ice cream. And you love having Reese's and gummy bears and sprinkles on it. So I made your very favorite ice cream. Oh, it's going to look very lovely and wonderful with those rainbow sprinkles and rainbow gummy bears. And I did add for one Reese's cup on the top. It's like a Christmas tree of sweets. You know, you have the star on the top, but you got a Reese's on the top. You know, the ice cream is like the Christmas tree and the sprinkles and gummy bears are like the ornaments and the lights. And then you got the Reese's as like the star on the top. Oh, it's very wonderful. Hmm? What seems to be the problem? You're shaking a little. You're not afraid of me, are you? You know, there's no reason for you to be afraid of me. I'm only helping you. I mean, come on. If you really want to go back to your facility, it's kind of boring. For me, if you're with me, I can make a lot of fun for you. We can do a lot of fun things together, don't you think? Oh, I can't wait what we can do when we get home. I really do. I have so much planned. Oh? Um. Oh, boo-hoo. You're going to miss everyone else. It's okay. I'm sure they will move on with their lives without you. We're going to be together forever and ever 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 and ever. <laughs> Oops. Your parents? Oops. I may or may not delete your parents' phone number. Such as your mom and your daddy, your aunts and uncles, and your grandma and your grandpa. Oopsie daisy. My finger slipped. <laughs> I guess I was meaning to delete the contacts of your friends. And I must have, you know, accidentally deleted all your contacts to your family. And the only number you have is me. Yes, I know we're going to be living in the same house, but mm, it's best we could just, you know, FaceTime, you know, room next to each other. Sometimes I get a little lazy. I don't feel like getting up to see you. So I decided we could just do some FaceTime. Oh, don't worry. I also installed some cameras in your room. Yes, that's it. I have made a lovely bedroom for you. You know, while you were in the basement, tied up, blindfolded, you name it, I, you know, prepared a bedroom for you. It's very lovely and cute, just like you. And I did install some cameras. So... I will probably be watching you all day and all night. Just in case if you have something plotting, you know, plotting some plans, ready to escape. Also, speaking of escaping, don't even think about escaping. I set an alarm system. So if you're meaning to escape by opening a window, the alarms will go off. Meaning, 
I will know. Just in case I didn't fall asleep while watching the surveillance cameras. Because <laughs> sometimes I get a little tired as well. So tired of thinking about you. So tired of being so dreamy around you. I can't be dreamy and lovely. If you treat me like shit, I'll treat you like shit back. But I don't want to. Because I want to feel... I want to give you some love and affection and some lovable times together. Oh, speaking of lovable times, here's the ice cream. And here you go. I decided we could share the ice cream together. I was going to say we could do a cone, but you know, I always have a bad curse with two scoops of ice cream. Last time, you know, when I take a first lick, it just all blotches all over the floor and then I start crying because that was a waste of money. So I decided to use a cup. We could share it together. Or, just like other couples, we could feed the ice cream together. Look at those adorable little gummy bears. Aren't they adorable? Just like you. <laughs> Here, take a bite. Why aren't you opening your mouth? Take a bite. Come on, I wasted money on that ice cream. You're going to eat it. No, I didn't do... Are you that stupid? I didn't do anything with that ice cream. You think I would spike it right in front of you? I'm not an idiot. God, you really don't fucking trust me. Just eat the goddamn ice cream or I'm going to shove that goddamn spoon down your damn throat. <sighs> Look what you made me do. You're creating so much attention. And the more attention... People are going to be suspicious around me and probably call the cops, thinking I'm some kind of abusive boyfriend. <sighs> What's that? You thought I was a girl when you first met me? Oh, no, 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 dear. Well, you know, I was born as a girl, but I didn't want to be a girl. So, did you know my real name? was chili. Mm-hmm. My real name was Chili. But since I didn't want to be a girl, I decided to become a male. So <laughs> I decided to change my gender. That seems very rude of you thinking I was a girl. It's very rude of you. Hmm. <laughs> But here I am as a boy. And I love being a boy. I didn't want to be a girl. Putting on girly clothes and... Bleh, gross. All this girlyish clothes and makeup and bleh, bleh, bleh. I wore a tuxedo during my prom. I even wore a tuxedo during my graduation. I didn't want to be a dumb girl. I want to be a nice masculine boy. Yeah, I know, I don't look a little masculine, but it'll get there. Once I work out, I will be masculine. And maybe you'll be so impressed with my new, improved body. But, you know, since we have this whole pandemic, some of the gyms aren't open, so I'm pretty much out of shape. Oh, well. I do have some exercise equipment in the garage. This is a treadmill, weights, barbells. Mm, I got a bar where I could do some pull-ups. and I have everything I need to work myself out. Oh, is the ice cream good? I know that strawberry and chocolate is your favorite. Here, feed it to me. What's your prop? What are you trying to fucking kill me? Oh, you look. I see what you did. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to piss me off. Because if I get pissed off, you're going to create so much attention. Listen here. Do not fuck with me. Because if you fuck with me, you're going to be in so much trouble when we get home. You never know. Maybe you won't live 
Maybe this will be your last trip. Your last trip is the mall. Your last part of your life is going to the mall and having ice cream. You want to live, don't you? You really want to fucking live. Do you want to live? That's what I thought. Mm. Oh, someone's a bad little puppy and needs a punishment when getting home. Well, I'm done with this ice cream. If you want it, you want it. If you don't, I can have it. But I want to go to a lovely clothes store. Like this one over here. You know, you have the... Your outfit's just a little... So, I thought I can go to the store and get you a lovely outfit for you. Maybe a nice outfit that we can have some fun with. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, I love this fresh smell of the clothes store. Fresh smell of fresh clothes. Fresh new clothes. Oh, look at this outfit. Oh, this will look lovely on you. How it looks very tight on you. How I could just pin you down while you are wearing this. You never know. I could just rip it open. Your whole body exposed. Oh, it will be wonderful. Definitely taking this. We can have so much fun with this outfit. Mm. <gasps> Ooh. Seems a little naughty, but I'll be taking that too. Mm -hmm. All right. I got all the clothes all prepared. Now go in that changing room and change. And come out. I want to see what you look like. Wearing those outfits. It's very, very exciting.